Hello everybody and welcome to episode 128 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, I want to give a huge thank you for the support in the last episode. I greatly appreciate it. With that being said, if you have a question or two for the next episode of ASA, leave it down below in the comments and I will answer it in the next episode. And if you'd be oh so kind to leave a like, I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into the questions starting with Mayo Husco. ASA, what's worse, the pupilless eyes or the Clone Wars eyes. Potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. Definitely the pupilless eyes. They're gross and disgusting. <laughs> I don't mind the Clone Wars anime style eyes because though it's a little odd, I think it works and fits for the characters which are supposed to be based off the Clone Wars TV show. And I don't think it looks that bad. Next question is from Proj Forever ASA. What's your favorite minifigure from Lego Star Wars? And also, which theme is better? 2002 to 2004 Lego Spider-Man or 2006 to 2008 Lego Batman? To be honest with you, I really just kind of don't care about any other Lego theme but Star Wars. Wars, so I don't have an opinion on that with the Spider-Man and Batman. But I will say for the Lego Star Wars minifigure, I also don't really have a favorite minifigure. I think I'm gonna have to just pick from this year, and I'm gonna go with the Moff Gideon from the Paz Vizsla versus Moff Gideon battle. That's just a really cool minifigure, and I'm glad Lego finally made one. I thought he came with the Darksaber though, which is funny, but he's really cool looking, and I love that like Beskar Mando Stormtrooper design armor. Like it's really cool looking. Next question is is from B Brick Able ASA. Why are you doing reviews only in short format? I would listen to your beautiful voice also on long reviews. Thank you for the compliment, dude. I appreciate that. I've had people over the years be like, your voice is so nice. Your voice is so soothing. I'm actually getting over a cold right now, so my voice is probably doing all kinds of weird things, but I appreciate the compliment. It's always nice to hear people say that my voice is nice. Now, to answer your question, not to say that I think my reviews are bad or anything, because I used to do full length length long reviews sometimes like 10 minute videos i've just learned over the years it's just not worth the effort i know this is kind of like a cheap answer because it's like well yeah shorts are easier but it's true it's like all i had to do is make a video under a minute long i don't have to add a thumbnail i barely had to really do a description even though i do and the title's super easy you know it's less work and more payoff because then i actually get more views and then also i like to add little funny things at the end of my shorts so if you didn't know and this is my favorite one that I did this year. It's supposed to be invisible! Like, tell me that wasn't funny. Come on. Next question is from Clumpus ASA. Sweet potato. Only one sweet potato today. We are on a budget. Well, thank you for the sweet potato. If the quality of each Star Wars movie was determined by how good the sets for the movies are, what would the Star Wars movie ranking look like? What? I have absolutely no idea what this question means. I'm sorry. I'm probably overthinking it or being dumb. I'm going to have to leave this one on answer because I have no idea what it means. But thanks for the sweet Sweet potato. And the last five questions are from EK Starlord. ASA, what do you think about Robert Downey Jr. playing Doctor Doom? A part of me thinks it's kind of lame to see Robert Downey Jr. come back to the MCU because I'm like, well, I thought you were done with it. And it's kind of like, is this proof that the MCU can't do anything without the original characters? But it's really cool to see Doctor Doom just in general. I'm glad to finally see Doctor Doom in the MCU. So I'm down for it. I think it's going to be fun. Next question. ASA, what do you think of Star Wars The Acolyte getting cancelled? So personally, I think it's kind of sad and disappointing because I know not a lot of people liked The Acolyte, but I actually, I didn't love it, but I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was decent. And so I wanted a season two because I wanted to see what was going to happen next, especially like with Darth Plagueis. And now that the show is getting cancelled, will we get to see what happens next? Maybe, but in a different show? I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's kind of sad news. But also life goes on and I'm kind of like, whatever. So whatever. Next question. ASA, do you think the next Star Wars animated show should be a Captain Rex TV show? So I don't necessarily think that the next animated show should be about Captain Rex. But I will say a Captain Rex show, especially like if it's during the Bad Batch time, I think that'd be really cool to see. And I, I actually would love that. Next question. ASA, are you excited for Marvel Studios? Fantastic Four First Steps. Honestly, I'm not a fan of that title. It kind of makes me think of 
like a kid, the baby's first steps. It's probably like an astronaut term or something, but it just makes me think of like a toddler for walking for the first time. I'm excited for the movie a little. Like, I still like Marvel and the MCU, even though they've been kind of lame lately. I wouldn't go as far to say that I'm like over the moon excited about it, but new Fantastic Four. That sounds fun. And the last question from EK Starlord. ASA, have you seen Deadpool and Wolverine? If so, what did you think of it? Man, it was fantastic. It was a great, fun, awesome movie. It's nice to see Marvel come out with something good again, because it's been quite a while since we've had something good. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I also don't want to spoil it, but I'll just say I loved it. That's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to watch and ask questions. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, maybe leave a like. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not. Blah, blah, blah. And the last thing I want to say is kind of like going to be like a little commercial. So here we go. Do you like battle packs? Of course you do. Who doesn't like battle packs? If you're interested in checking out my battle pack playlist, my goal is to do a short review of every single battle pack ever made. I got quite a good bit on there right now. So if you're interested in checking it out, then yeah, check the cards or the description. Now I'll let you go. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.